Okay, today we're going to be making a portable version of Aptana Studio 2 with the original PHP plugin. Alright, so there's all the zip files that we've got. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is open up the Aptana Studio zip file. And then the next thing we want to do is unzip, well, run the um, J Portable which is going to give us our JRE, the Java Runtime Environment, and um, Aptana Studio 2 needs that to be able to run. So we'll just choose the folder that we're going to store all our files in. Save it to there. And while we're waiting, I'm just going to rename the Aptana folder to Aptana Portable. Okay, that's finished. So it puts a folder called Java. Now this is a really important thing. We have to rename this folder to JRE. Um, Aptana needs it to be that so it recognizes it and then we just go and move that folder into the Aptana portable folder and you'll see it there that's what it should look like now there's a couple of folders and files here that we don't really need it's part of the um, portable apps so we can just delete these to save a bit of space okay and the next thing we need to do is change the config file for Aptana. Um, you can just open that with Notepad. And this is just setting the, um, the default workspace. Aptana uses a workspace where you'll store all your projects. Um, default puts it on the C drive in the user's My Documents folder, and we don't want it to go there. So we'll just take out the first part of this line, delete that and then it's a path to Aptana Studio Workspace and it will put that folder, it will create that folder when we run Aptana for the first time it's going to put that in the folder with the rest of the Aptana stuff so we'll go ahead and run the EXE so what it's doing now, it's now creating that folder, the Aptana Studio Workbench We'll allow access. Okay, so there's that title running. So we need to close it down now because now it's created a couple of more files. And um, we just need to change one more of them. So we'll go into the configuration folder and the settings folder. And we'll go and change this file same thing, open it up with notepad is and the same thing, it's just changing one line just getting rid of the first part of this so Aptana knows so that we don't have to go and look on the C drive so this is what helps make it portable we'll save that ok, then we're done basically we've got a portable version of Aptana that we can throw on our USB stick and carry around and it will save the projects to the workspace folder that right there. So we'll go and run Aptana again and we'll go and install the PHP plugin. Okay so we'll go to the help menu and then enter install new software and over to add and then archive and then we'll navigate to where our zip files are and then we'll click on the that's the PHP zip file and then press OK click that, press next
Okay, now sometimes this has happened once or twice where Aptana kind of it just hangs. You think it's kind of doing something. It looks like it's still loading, but um, it hangs. It's good to wait. Sometimes it does take a little bit of time, but um, I can kind of see here that we're not progressing anywhere, and it look, looks like it's hanging here. So um, I think what I might do I might cancel that, and then what we'll have to do. We have to go and delete a little location here because if we try to do it again, it will say it's already in there. So we'll just remove that and we'll try it again. So add archive, click the PHP zip file, OK. Check the checkbox, click next. OK, there we go. Now it's all working. Set the terms and conditions, and now it's installing. This can take a little while. Click OK. It's just about certificates. And then it wants to restart, so click Yes. OK, so there we go. We've now got a portable version of Aptana with the original PHP plugin. And then maybe we'll just go and set up a, a test project. So we'll go into the projects folder and right click. New project. Now you've got some options here. We've got general and web. As you can see, you can select a PHP project, a default web web project or existing hosted site, we'll just click the PHP project, give it a name test, and it's going to put that into the, wherever you've, that's on the C drive now, but if you've put the Aptana folder into a USB drive, it, that it will be the location, that's where it will get stored. Okay, so there we go, we've just run the um, PHP info and it gives us that information right in the internal browser which is very handy and if you do want to change to a different workspace maybe if you're on a computer at work and there's a Aptana workspace there you can go and navigate to that and change it and there we go from there you can um, Basically, it's all installed there. You can install more plugins. Um, there you can install the Firefox plugin and the JavaScript plugins, and they'll store it, they'll get installed into that folder, the Aptana Portable folder. And then you can put the Aptana Portable folder on your USB stick and carry it around with you wherever you go.